How's it going guys? Great day for a cup of coffee, right? It's in like the 40s, a few days before Christmas. Ah, well, let's take a walk to my car and on the way, subscribe, like, hit that bell and share with some friends because this video is about why you should never use water for your radiator instead of antifreeze during the winter. Can you guess why I'm saying that? You may have seen them cards kicking around. Hey, if you do, grab them up, check it out, tell us how to get to my channel if you don't already know. So yeah. There'll be a follow-up on, video on how to fix this mistake, but what it boils down to is driving down the road, I had a bad thermostat and I had to keep on putting fluid in. This stuff used to be antifreeze. Antifreeze is empty. So, I started carrying these with me. Gallon jugs. Three, four of them. It start, you know, you hop in if you turn the heater on and it's blowing cold air. And then you put fluid in and it starts blowing warm. Well, chances are your thermostat's gone. So, uh, don't do what I did. Spend the extra money right away. Get your thermostat. Throw it in. Buy some antifreeze, throw that in. Voila! Had to hitchhike to get that. We needed some of these. We needed a bunch of stuff. Thermostat. Because it blew out these, which are called freeze plugs. Let me show you something cool. Well, not really cool because now it's going to be a pain in the butt to fix my problem. Thermostat's right there. Let's get the light going for you so you can see a little better. Alright, so. Pop that off. Where these are warm and the only reason, only reason I'm putting these in now is just to make sure there's no slush left in there. And so you can see what went wrong. So we had that big snowstorm last week and uh, I was on my way, had to pick up my girlfriend when I discovered that my car had frozen solid. But no, I did not discover that before I left which I should have checked. I discovered that when I started driving down the road. Here we go. Check that out. Can you see it? As you can see, <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah. Now, there's one, maybe two of these here going. That are gone. As you can see, I have what you could mildly put it as a bad day. All because I was lazy and tried to take a shortcut and an easy way out. Now, I get to put these here freeze plugs in. And it's getting dark soon. Do you see the moon? It ain't noon. All right, enough of that rhyming crap. Uh, so I'm going to shut the camera off in a minute. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. 
smash the like button. Tell your friends so everyone can see from my dumb mistake what not to do and why not to do it. And uh, yeah, it was actually the day that I made the video, Dodge vs. Snow. Go ahead and check out my other videos. That's pretty cool. Neighbor blew through about 20 bucks in gas and put about 30,000 miles on his tires. Well, maybe that, not that many, but he ripped. That Dodge right there. Ripped right through this three foot of snow out to there. But yeah, I'm gonna get this jacked up and I'm gonna show you how to replace the plugs in the next video. So until then, guys, have fun, get out there, be adventurous, enjoy life, and keep up your vehicle maintenance. Don't take shortcuts. Please, I don't want to see you in the same position I am because when I pulled over to figure out the problem and realized that my lines were all froze up and the radiator was froze. As I'm trying to figure it out, my battery died. And it was below zero that day almost. So, luckily, even though I had no gloves, I got some help. So I pulled up in a Jeep and they helped me pull it up off the road all the way so I didn't get hit by a plow truck and they gave me a ride back home. So, there's still some really great people out there. You know, don't give up. There's more positive than negative. It's just news that shows the negative more than positive. All right, that's enough ranting, guys. I'll catch you later. And, uh... Have a good one.